Task force, please let us know. So we don't need it. to notice it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello again. I commend all of you for sitting on your butts for so long. Most boards uh, get up, walk around, uh, walk out in the hall, disappear for a while. Uh, I have two things. The first item has two parts. That's a uh, donation to the district, and it refers to a, a technical reference library. From 1963 through 2003, the district had a uh, professional librarian, Cynthia Plockelman, and uh, at the end of her 40 years, the district disbanded the technical library and tossed it to the winds. I think that was a great disservice to the district and also to the uh, 800 point one million people. So I've uh, donated two items. One of them is an 1884 book that has the first public or first published uh, restoration plans for the Everglades. The other one is a, a 1972 comic book. And what does it say on the bottom of it? I can't read. Stocks the Everglades. Uh, I think you'll like that one uh, more. The uh, second item I have, and I'm glad you're sitting down, is there's an Everglades jet port that was built 50 years ago. And if you look at any space uh, satellite imagery, it shows up on it. And uh, <clears throat> a... Uh, a side note is the reason we have a NEPA Act is because of that Everglades jet port, which should never have been started because there was no coordination at all with any of the federal agencies. And uh, my challenge to you is get that out of there. It doesn't need to be there. Uh, Miami-Dade spends a couple hundred thousand dollars keeping it there just so... Uh, Jets can uh, touch down and take off, which, of course, puts a lot of pollution into the Everglades besides noise. And uh, it's something you can do in months instead of uh, years like everything else you have to do. Thank you, Mr. Mooney.